In a highly controversial turn of events, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are facing intense scrutiny following their recent CBS interview on social media safety. Despite advocating for the protection of children from online harm, the Royal Couples Association with tech entrepreneur Christopher Boozy, infamous for his trolling of Prince William and Kate Middleton, has sparked accusations of hypocrisy and inconsistency. As the debate heats up, royal experts and commentators are questioning whether the Sussexes are truly practicing what they preach. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams has been vocal about his disapproval of Harry and Meghan's ties to Christopher Boozy, especially given Boozy's history of derogatory remarks aimed at the British royal family. Boozy, who gained prominence through his analytics company Bot Sentinel, has not shied away from making inflammatory comments about the Prince and Princess of Wales. His tweets, which include calling Prince William a balding muppet and comparing Kate Middleton's aging to that of a banana, have been widely criticized for their personal and unprofessional nature. Fitzwilliams argues that the Sussexes' collaboration with Boozy undermines their public stance on online bullying and social media safety. The controversy is further fueled by Boozy's role in Meghan and Harry's Netflix documentary, where he spoke about an alleged agenda against Meghan driven by hatred and race. This claims that a small number of Twitter accounts are responsible for the majority of anti meghan sentiment have been met with skepticism and concern over his credibility. Boozy's comments following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, in which he suggested that criticism of Meghan was racially motivated, only intensified the backlash against him and, by extension, the Sussexes. Adding to the complexity is Boozy's creation of Spoutable, a social network he describes as a safer alternative to platforms like X, formerly Twitter. Despite his mission to combat misinformation and harassment online, Boozy's own behavior has been called into question. For instance, he recently fueled conspiracy theories about Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis, accusing the palace of lying about her condition and suggesting that photos of her were altered. Such actions have led many to view Boozy as a controversial figure whose involvement with the Sussexes casts a shadow over their advocacy work. In their CBS interview, Harry and Meghan emphasized the importance of protecting children from the dangers of social media. Launching the Parents Network and the hashtag No Child Lost to Social Media campaign through their Archwell Foundation. The initiative aims to support parents whose children have been negatively impacted by social media, providing resources, and promoting safer online environments. Megan spoke candidly about her own struggles with online abuse and the impact it had on her mental health, expressing a desire to shield her children, Archie and Lilibet, from similar experiences. Despite their noble intentions, the Sussexes' association with Boozy has led to questions about their commitment to their cause. Fitzwilliams and other commentators argue that the couple must carefully consider the company they keep if they are to maintain credibility in their advocacy efforts. The royal commentator also hinted that Meghan might reveal more about her difficulties as a senior working royal, potentially opening up further discussions about the impact of online abuse on mental health. As Harry and Meghan continue to navigate their public roles and philanthropic endeavors, the scrutiny over their connections and the authenticity of their messaging is unlikely to subside. The royal couple's efforts to promote social media safety and support mental health are commendable, but the controversy surrounding their ties to Boozy serves as a stark reminder of the challenges they face in aligning their actions with their stated values. The unfolding saga of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's association with Christopher Boozy highlights the complexities and contradictions in their public advocacy for social media safety. As they champion causes aimed at protecting children from online harm and promoting mental health, their links to a figure notorious for online trolling cast a long shadow over their efforts. In the court of public opinion, the Sussexes must navigate these controversies carefully, ensuring that their actions truly reflect their commitments. As their initiatives like the Parents Network and hashtag No Child Lost to Social Media gain traction, the royal couple's ability to reconcile their associations with their advocacy will be crucial in maintaining their credibility and influence in the realm of social media reform.